Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your next 24 hours love reading. This will be for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take with it, leave the rest. If you would like to purchase a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box for you. That will take you right to my booking site. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Virgo, Virgo only. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. All right, we're going to take a look at the past position. Five of Cups, Queen of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Present, Page of Pentacles again, Eight of Pentacles, The Magician, Near Future, Ace of Cups, The Tower, and The Eight of Swords. I really, like, sometimes I don't even know. Sometimes, like... <laughs> The Page of Pentacles lately, you know, in the beginning, it was the Emperor, now the Page of Pentacles. And the Eight of Swords seem to just always keep showing up in these readings here. All right, let's take a look at what the love messages are for you. Virgo, for your love life, what's going on here? Past position, release your ex. Wow, Virgo. Okay, let go of control issues. All right, let's see, okay. All right, somebody let go of somebody. A relationship in the past, just done, okay? I feel like it might have been you or your person. And I, if they let you go, okay, they had two options. They could try to make this work or let you go okay they could have allowed the situation to just unfold naturally or beautifully but it seems like <clears throat> they couldn't do it and they let you go and you know what in the past big mistake big big mistake virgo on their end and they are they're feeling it or they felt it i don't really feel like they wanted to do it Okay, your person in the past could have been a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Uh, I don't really feel like that was a, something that they wanted. Um, I'm going to get some clarity here. But I also feel like for some of you, this person had... When they met, came into the relationship with you, they still had like, I want to say a phantom ex that they had a really hard time letting go of. And when they met you, they were still grieving that. Yes. Trying to get their emotions stable and in order and trying to get grounded and like feel safe and secure. All right. Let's see. Three of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles again and the Tower. Wow. Okay. Oh, so the grief really with this person, uh, I feel like of something in their past that they had to let go of mostly. Maybe not you. It could be you presently, but, or maybe it was you, but, you know, they came in broken. That's what I have to say. Your person came in broken. Be, and they, there's a lot of grief and remorse with an ex or with you or both because they honestly did not believe they re, so it's kind of like the the grief and the remorse it could be feeling sorry for themselves but it's also like i didn't have what it takes i didn't have the skills i wasn't capable to do it i'm not you know that was like their past energy okay when they came in with you they came in like with that three of pentacles energy where it's like <laughs> needing to have these skills and they were very low on the skill threshold you know about how to be or how to make this relationship work or they were just too hurt or too broken and just really didn't feel like they could do it and they there's definitely when they came in to be in the relationship with you this is kind of like more of about a student and 
they were kind of like, okay, how do I do this? Were you showing them, Virgo, how to be in a relationship or something? You know, um, I just feel like they really had good intentions and their communication with you was like they really did have these great intentions and good ideas and things that they wanted. They, it was like, yes, I want this prosperity. And I, you know, uh, they were willing at some point, or maybe they were someone who was very nurturing in the relationship or trying to be supportive, okay, of the relationship, but it like broke. It broke, it just shattered. What was stable and secure and what they wanted, it was like, boom, it just cr all came crashing down right to the ground and I just kind of feel like um, their past thing broke and yours broke and they just let it go or they ended it with you and they just let it go and just said all right whatever's going to be is going to be Lack of confidence, a little bit of lack of confidence here, okay? But the present here, sometimes these readings, it's like, it's always the past and realizing and then wanting you to be the, the one. The one thing I will say is like, your person feels like you are the one for them, okay? I, I feel that pretty heavy energy here that they... Presently, they still feel that you are, if not the only one for them, okay? And I do feel like they're still going to communicate with you, or there will be communication in the present with you, that they're doing good, they're working hard, you know, they're, they're, they've been learning a lot about things or relationships, you know, or just, maybe not just relationship, but I'd say that, you know, They've just been learning a lot of stuff and they've really been focusing on their career and their business and manifesting. But there's also this thing of like, they're hoping that you will forgive them. You know? Could be an apology with this person coming from you, you know, like, I'm sorry I did that, or I'm sorry I said that, or I'm sorry I came in this way, or please forgive me for the way I, I ended things, or I, I, you know, because I do feel like they feel like you are the only person for them. They just, um, they just showed me what flipped over was the Eight of Swords, and that's here too. And the Eight of Swords, that's always my self-imposed self prisoner sabotaging self-sabotaging card, self-destruct card, isolating, that kind of thing. Okay, Ten of Wands. Yeah, I'm sorry for the burden. Apology of some sort. Usually I don't see the Page of Pentacles as an apology, but I feel like here it is because of the forgiveness card. And I feel like, what can I do to make it up to you? Maybe a gift of some sort, like a token um, of an amend, making amends, but it, it's mostly like, I'm sorry for putting so much pressure on you. I'm sorry for causing you to feel so stressed or exhausted. I'm sorry for giving you, um, to carry all the weight of this connection here. You know, when I just still had all this bad juju energy in me when I, when we met and I wasn't ready to move things forward you know um and it doesn't have to be like an ex-lover it could be like um, a family member or somebody that you know they had to let go of that was you know maybe it was childhood trauma thing or this person just didn't know how to do this or do something for a lot of you i do feel like it's an ex that maybe did some damage to this person or there was just that energy between the two of them okay Okay, yeah, this person's relieving their stress and anxiety presently. They're just working. If you think they're doing anything else, they're not. They're just distracting themselves with what's right in front of them, okay? Work, creating, going to the gym, routine, everyday routines is what I feel, okay? Um, the same things that they always do where they find their safety and security, 
because it's a stress reliever. They have very high anxiety, this person. And they have to be in these routines because it just kind of like alleviates their stress in some way. I'm sure you understand that, Virgo. Um, being a Virgo yourself, sometimes, not all Virgos, but routine does have a tendency to give you that sense of safety and security when you're doing the same thing all the time. Um, because you feel like you're getting things done or you feel accomplished in a lot of ways. But the magician is here, okay? Um, so they're definitely very focused on what they're trying to do right now. But what is it they're trying to do? Let's see. Hmm. Seven of Wands. Huh. I just heard fight back. They're trying to fight. They, I, I, It's crazy. But... You know what? This apology, like you have to know, Virgo, that they are going to try to fight for your relationship. They want to try to manifest something here, but they're they're not really going to it's not going to seem like it. It's going to be a little convoluted in the way they um, kind of come to you. Like, they'll maybe they'll just try to be a friend to you. But, like, the intentions, their intentions here are not what's being revealed. So what you're seeing on the surface and on the outside with this person is really not what's going on underneath. There's a lot of regret and remorse for a decision that they made in the past. Whenever it was... If it was releasing you or letting go of the relationship, yeah, I don't think that they want that really, but they don't really, they're just trying to distract themselves and keep themselves busy. There is definitely an apology coming, but I do feel like they're on this path of manifestation and creating, like being very focused and bringing the visions that they have about you and they into reality, which are visions about, you know, trying to make something real between you but i just kind of feel like the biggest thing is they want to know that you forgive them and and you know that in order to heal the the past stuff um that there was uh, there will be like an ability to release it to move forward to have more love in this connection this person wants your love I'm going to write that down because I know once I finish this video, I'm going to forget. I need to like, because sometimes after I do the video, like it gets so intense that I forget what I say and I have to go back. Oh, you don't know the behind the scenes work I have to do. I have to go back and listen to the whole video to get the message. <laughs> Crazy. So, okay. Wow. Ace of Swords, the Tower again, and the Eight of Swords, Traction and Wedding. I feel like this wedding card keeps showing up in your your reading, and this is all this is the future. Okay, so it's coming. The situation will involve marriage. This person is tremendously attracted to you, and they and again going forward. Okay, there is an element here of like. It's not, you don't, it doesn't say you seek romantic love to enjoy your, the moment fully. You attract romantic love. And I feel like this going forward, this person is going to try to attract you to them. Oh, there's going to be love all around. Oh, absolutely. This is like, this is like the spring when the bunnies are hopping, if you know what I mean. Yeah, this energy is going to show up is just i don't know venus must be some will be somewhere going forward and it's just going to be like everybody's picking up everyone's pheromones and you're going to be virgo like oh my gosh you have all these suitors you know how like people sometimes uh, yeah you're either in a dry spell or everybody's showing up and people are coming out of the woodwork Okay, and this person for sure there's going to be love and it's not just surrounding you it's surrounding them Okay, so let's take a look at this Ace of Cups. This is healing. My cup overflow. My cupeth overflow. Am I saying that right? Okay, the hangman, like, wow. Major enlightenment here. 
oh, this person really gets into, like at first it's more like apology, but then they start feeling that love energy big time. They become enlightened, like in the brain, you know? It's kind of like, and wow, I just realized something here. I don't know, you probably can't see it, but under that crow's beak, there's a pentacle. This is Pisces, Piscean energy. We also have Scorpio. And, um, oh, and Cancer and Gemini. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, this is like they're being enlightened by you as well. I feel like um, that's what happens. Look, this crow, I, you can't see it, but he's got this pentacle in his beak and he's putting at the feet of this hanged man here, which is like, that's what they're being enlightened by is you. You're it. I just feel like you're just, they already know if they've been, you know, if they're in the present seeking out others, romantic partners it's like they're not doing so well with that i feel like because they're they're just like wait a minute i've already met my romantic person my romantic partner so why is this tower here there's some kind of a shift and a breakdown happening here with this tower like a big upheaval oh hmm Oh, that's it. There you go. Wow. What's the upheaval? The big shakeup? Is this person is actually putting some thought into how they have, like, really contemplating and thinking to themselves in order to have something with Virgo, I need to, like, break free from my self sabotaging ways in the future. And that brings you to that wedding, that brings you to that secret union with, it, with them. Okay, I feel like this person is really taking a look at like how every time they self-sabotage here, they cause destruction of this relationship. Every time they pull away, you know, because why? Because you pull away. When they pull away, they think that they're protecting themselves, but they're also walling themselves off from love, you know. I mean, like, if you're going to protect your heart, well, sure, your heart's not going to get hurt, but your heart's also not going to love. I mean, the heart's built for love. So, yeah, Pisces, we have Aquarius here. This person is, like, seriously, like, taking a hardcore look at this here. We'll be in the future going forward, okay? Oh, yeah. And also part of their self-sabotaging and destruct destruction of their relationship had a lot to do with them seeking um, seeking other romantic partners here. Like, wow, that's why things weren't working out because I couldn't commit <sighs> because of maybe I didn't know how or I wasn't sure or I was just too in much in pain. So I let the very person that I love go and that was stupid and the apology does come in it's a process this is a process this is not an overnight thing here virgo for them you know if you're if you're open to seeing it and you're open to like letting them go through that change and come to you and apologize again you know forgiveness benefits you more than the other person but mostly it, for, it benefits you even if somebody doesn't give you closure or apologize it, it releases you all right so let's take a look and see what their the love messages are here Virgo I'm just gonna randomly grab a card I don't know how to let you go okay this person just refused they're not gonna let you go they don't know how because you know why? They don't know how to be without you. They know that you're the one for them, Virgo. They know. I pretend that I don't care. So if you're not hearing from them right now or they're just being aloof, it's just a face mask pretending. Okay, protected. Yep, again, protecting the heart, protecting themselves, or somebody is here. 
Okay, my heart's walled up, chained up behind a secure cement fence and I can't get hurt, but also love doesn't come in. So I'm isolated and by myself, okay, where I am safe. Okay, let's see. What are you guys all in with people that have like um, serious issues? I pretend you don't mean that much. Well, that's just pretend, I pretend, I pretend. I'm protecting myself and I'm pretending, but I don't know how to let you go. I want to trust you, but I don't trust myself. So many things remind me of you. I bury myself in work to forget you. Mm -hmm. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Yep, a lot of grief here about that. You were the best thing in my life. And they're coming to terms with it. And they're definitely coming to apologize, you know, at the most and try to fight or manifest something. But do it in a strange way, you know, like they come back and they reach out or they, they say something and they're being friendly or, you know, um, or asking you how you know, how's your summer going or something, but their intention behind that is to manifest this because they wish things could be different and they want to try. I want to be more than friends. So if they, if you guys broke up or ended or they released this thing and, you know, or you let them go and said, we'll just be friends and they, or they agreed or whatever, it's like, no, they don't really want that. They couldn't let you get close to me. But I'm starting to understand our connection. I hid who I really am from you. This relationship is moving towards a secret union. And wedding here, situation involves marriage. So marriage, marriage, I don't know what's going on. But we keep getting a lot of marriage cards. And I feel like you will. You are going to marry this person, Virgo, whoever they are. Could be somebody new. Could be somebody from... In your deep past. I'm not really sure you know your situation better and you can always get a personal reading from me. We can try to figure that out. Um, but I'm going to leave your reading here. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.